Morning, everybody. It's Chris here from Swing Education with the Four Majors Notice Update for the 24th of June 2011, Friday. Sun's out. For how long? Different story. But anyway, we've seen yesterday, we saw a lot of uh, movement on the markets, uh, preferably euro, sterling, all negative on the hesitation on the uh, Greeks bailout, on the Greek bailout, and Yesterday afternoon around about 5 p.m. GMT, we had news filtering through the system that the actual the EU and the IMF group had actually come together and agreed on a five-year storage plan for Greece. However, it's still going to be passed, so it could be interesting the next couple of days. What it's doing on, on, on the chart is that you can see that we saw the pullback occurring after the news yesterday. And what it means now is we're seeing a bounce. We've had a bounce on a previous support, so you can see price rally all the way down to the major trend line. You can see on the chart the major trend line to the upside. Uh, CTC is red, however, we've still got to go red on the other side of the band. Uh, until such time, then you'll notice we're still in an uptrend. So that won't only happen until we actually get a break of the major trend line and we're trading well below that major trend line. You'll notice the one thing we have now in our favor is we have lower swings. You can see we had an all-time high, a lot of wicks. We're up here at 14,850, and we've had a low swing since then, since in in the early parts of June, and now we've had a, a new one just recently after the negativity that's just occurred in the market. And Asian market trading saw it open slightly higher, but we are now trading at the low end of the week. So going into Friday, it looks like we're going to see further downside movements. We might see a possible retest of the 14,200 mark before we see another consolidation uh, band taking place. So intraday, you can see on our 4-hour, for example, the negativity in this swing lows. You can see that just recently we had the pullback. So we had a lot of selling and then the pullback occurring. Um, that's been short-lived. You can see that we had a an indecision candle and a ceiling level. Notice that the all the moving averages are still trading above this pair. At the moment, the CTC is red. And if you take a Fib projection, oh sorry, a Fib retracement figure, and you plot it on the chart, you can see that we're trading about the 50% mark, and it failed to go higher. So it's likely that we could see further downside movement. There is, however, a small consolidation range at where we're sitting at the moment now. Prior break below that, and we close lower than on a four-hour candle. We're going to see. Uh, price fall even further down to where the zero line is now, roughly around 14, 14, 1300. So, failure to see any support in that area could see price continue to the downside, and our CTC is still looking for sh further shorting opportunities. Ali is giving the same story a lot of sideways motion. We still have the institutional moving average as well as 50 above us, and you can see that the there are a lot of wicks at the upside now, and those wicks. You can see trading is starting to take place further down the candle, and you can see the price is slowly moving its way to the downside. If we look at 30 minute chart, same here, we've broken through price support at the 142500 mark. Notice the lows in this consolidation range are lower. And we've seen this candle this morning at 8 a.m. GMT close on the on the 30 minutes closing lower than all this. But we have the 50 pair moving average here, which has acted as a support in the past. Break below that will definitely confirm further downside movement. And we should be looking at the lows that we saw yesterday, roughly around the 14, 14, 14 50 mark. So keep that in. Next up is the UK. Sterling against US dollar, let's have a look at the daily time frame. Yeah, we saw a lot of selling in the past couple of weeks. This price has actually broken through a major trend. You can see the upside. And in this, the past week or so, we see the negativity really filtering through and price breaking through and rallying to the underside of the, the other side of the trend line. However, uh, 
failing to to trade higher and subsequently falling lower we've had a lot of selling in the past two days this breaking through or we're now seeing price testing the all important 1600 mark and this being a long-term support area you can see that price is now on the Asian market going into the European session open today trading below that which is not a good sign because for a long period of time it acted as a resistance and support level so we've seen price closing lower now well sitting on it to be honest with you but today's trading candle you can see is opened and is now short a lot more action at the bottom of the wick tested the 200 period moving average and, and is moving away from it if we see a close lower in this going into into the new week we're going to see further selling for this pair as the momentum as people start running well it's broken through a major support they're going to start dumping they're going to start shorting their positions and we could look at anything roughly if you look at the extension where it first started we could look at 100% uh, roughly just under the 1588 uh, mark once uh, the 161.8 fib mark would take us down to 1565 there's a there's a lot of momentum you can see there from this to the downside the other way of looking at it is to take the major one right up here to the bottom of that and back to the top of here you can see that the 100% is also just showing us exactly where the other one was at the 158800 mark. So 100% would take us, we're looking for the 100%. If price closes there, we're looking for 100%, 161, and further to the downside as possible targets for this pro, for, for price to go to. That, one, that 100 is roughly at a prior resistance support area in the past. And the same goes for the 161 bottom of the support here at the 200 period moving average so intraday a lot of movement to be see price closing lower today we're going to see further selling to the downside for this pair uh, you can see the 200 period moving average the lower swings the breakouts of consolidation areas here we go there's a noticeable one here at the 16100 and the breakouts you can see this price over here um, failed to materialize we saw a slight bounce yesterday uh, that's failed at the 23.6 so you can see the momentum is still negative people still see further shorting opportunities and we're seeing price move lower CTC is in our favor also to confirm that negativity in the market next up is the US dollar against Swiss franc let's have a look at the daily time frame for this you can see that we're in a majority and a very negative downtrend the US dollar has lost a lot of ground against the Swiss franc and recently we've seen the US dollar finding support at a level just around about the 80 83.50 mark and over the past couple of days we've seen price pull away from a previous ceiling level and making its way back to that level again at 83.50 so very indecisive you can see that the indecision a lot of dojis as price has moved here the trading band or intraday trading is very very small indecisive as we come the closer we get to this low um, part. Notice that the US dollar, if I pull back on a daily, you can see is come from a very negative end. We're trading an all time low for this pair, and it's it will be interesting to see if we actually see another support area, another bounce at the 83.50 mark. I fairly should see that, and trading lower will just confirm that what the CT is telling us that we should be looking for further shorting opportunities. Just remember that we've a couple of days, almost a week, a couple of weeks ago, we saw a, a blue arrow on the CTC just setting the heads up and sure enough we are going sideways a lot of consolidation so the blue candle sorry the blue arrow just confirming the consolidation at a support area we need to see a break of that and trade lower a nice bearish engulfing would definitely clear confirm that we're seeing further shorting opportunities arising otherwise what we could do is see price bounce along here back to the major trend line as you can see here which I'll make in nice and bold and we could see further downside movement ideally if the US dollar is to be bullish on this we need to see a break obviously of the previous resistance level as well as a break above the major downtrend so until that happens then 
If we see another bounce on A350 in the intraday, you could see a possibility of the A55 mark being reattempted soon. Failure to do so and a break lower than A3550 would see further selling on this pair. You only have to look at the smaller time frames intraday to see the volatility in the markets. Look over here, for example, on the 30 minute chart. We've seen a bounce, then sideways motion, and then a pull, uh, further selling, and then all through yesterday afternoon going into the Europe, the Asian market trading session, we've seen price moving sideways in a consolidation band, a lot of wicks, very iffy, and then as I've opened this morning on the European, uh, UK side of things, we've seen selling followed by bullish. This is going to trigger people into the market now, taking in a lot of um, all their orders, only for them to to be faked back out again, and ho well, not hopefully, but noticing that their stops will probably be taken out in this move before price actually starts taking a, or looking for a trend direction. Notice we have lower swings as we've gone into this, and as I mentioned, the closer we get to the 83.50 mark, we've seen price getting lower. So you can see the direction of the trend is negative. I'm not going for these fake outs. Should be the more touches the stronger uh, the picture should be, but we are in this area now where we should see some sort of clarif clarification of where price is likely to go to. And because we're negative long term, then we could very well see price re retesting the HG50 soon. If we find a bounce on here, then we could see further upside movement on this pair. Last pair of the day is the US dollar again, Japanese yen. I've got the daily in front of me. You'll notice that this pair has tested the 80 mark over a number of months. Because we know in the long term this is a strong support area for this period, which has been in the down market since May of last year. Uh, over the past couple of months we've seen further selling, lower highs, excluding this intervention breakout here. But you can see the major of the highs are all pointing lower. And just over the past days we've seen the US dollar rally against Japanese yen. Uh, news came out yesterday that Bernanke and his sidekicks weren't going to think of throwing more money at the market for the QE3 and we saw the US dollar rally for a short period of time however we've seen a pullback during the close and Asian market in going to the European session we've seen price uh, trading slightly higher than that so as it stands now we're seeing a bounce now and we could possibly see US dollar rallying higher for this pair and we could look at the next possible target being previous high here at the top of the previous swing yeah just below the 8100 mark notice that we do have lower swings for this pair and we should be very aware that we are going to be testing this downtrend very soon because you can see as the swings are low swings are low swings are low so we could see consolidation in this area be aware of that we have a lot of indecision here and ideally if you want to see further progression to the upside we would like to see price trading above the 8100 mark beforehand. CTC is extended to the downside on this pair on a daily time frame. If you look at our 30 minute setup, you can see that the bounce on the 80 and price is rallied higher. Notice that we've had upper sw higher swings as price has been going. We've had a bit of slight consolidation, but as of the trading this morning, those of the open European session, we've seen price really high and you can see a break higher as we speak now above the prior Asian market high for this time frame. We could look at this potentially here at the 87, the 8077 mark being our next possible target. Just be aware as I mentioned then on a daily and uh, if you look see it on a 4 hour for example we can see lower swings and the institutional moving average is still trading above us. So even though we have the 80 mark here on a 4 hour as a support area at the 80 we know that. Just be aware that the swings are lower and we could see possible failure yet again at the 80-80 mark so just ideally we want to be trading above the previous swing in this case the major swing this one over here which is take us above that trend line breaking the trend line above the moving average the institutional moving average and this will confirm that there's further momentum to the upside and we could look at the 8200 mark as our next possible target for this pair that's it for today guys hope you have a fantastic weekend with family and friends um, for all those of our students who have done really well in the markets this week, well done to you. You've done absolutely fantastically well. You've you've applied the rules on the CTC uh, brilliantly, and your money management has actually been outstanding on it. Sir.
Um, it's important to get those two correctly when trading, and I can assure you'll be making consistent gains in the market from here onwards. Um, if you're not trading today, then great. There's a bit of news out this morning. Um, Euro, 9 o'clock, we have the German Info Business Climate um, details, expecting a lower figure, obviously. And then 10.30 a.m. GMT this morning, we have the Bank of England Governor King speaking, which could be interesting uh, to see what he has to say about what's been happening over the week, the past week in, in the Euro and how's that going to affect us. Uh, taxpayers, etc. And then one thirty this afternoon, the US dollar. We have core durable goods orders, month on month figures. We have uh, final GDP quarter and quarter figures at one thirty as well. So that's going to be quite interesting. I think a lot of people might sit back and wait for those figures to come up before we see any further progression in the markets uh, before the weekend's up. But um, yeah, austerity plan, five year plan has been put through by EU and IMF. It's going to be interesting to see if the Greek government can actually. Um, they can actually follow through now and any of those points that the EU and IMF have put forward, let's see if the Greeks can actually say yes to them. If they can't, then you're going to see obviously the fail of the bailout plan. They're not going to throw more money at something that uh, at a country they can't afford, that, that won't uh, make any real uh, real uh, live demand changes. And if so, then we're going to see Europe continue to fall. Okay, have a great time, all the best, and trade serenely. Oh,